the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro jumping back in the Planet Crafter. All right, guys, we are picking up where we left off. And guys, I think I have found a glitch, a serious glitch. Let me show you what we're doing, what we're getting into. Now, my power is off, right? My power is off, it's gone, it's done, done. And let me show you my power joint, though, my interface. Now, it says not enough power, but I'm actually up about 28, I believe, or, or 15. I actually just added a new power joint. So let me show you this. Let me show you this. Then I'm going to show you why we having this issue, right? I built a few things. I was testing some things and we were going to build it together this episode. Then I kept having this problem. Now I hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours. Thank you for stopping through. Hope you and your family are well. Hit that like button for me, guys. Like, subscribe, share this so others can check this out. And we're going to keep it moving and grooving, doing what we do. Man, I've been doing a lot of arranging, a lot of organizing. Um, yeah, doing a lot of big things. We, we got some stuff right there that you can probably see that we're going to check out this episode. But let me show you this. So when I put this power up, watch what happens. Watch what happens. We're going to put this solar jammy right here. Solar jammy. Bam. Now, you see my power is on. Power is restored. And let me show you how much we actually have. 18.5. It was more than that before. Now watch what's going to happen in a moment. Let's see if it turns back off. Now, if you saw those rocks like this disappearing, that was because of the other new thing we're going to uh, do in this episode. You see me getting this uranium? There's a reason uranium is just laying around right out here, all right? I'm going to look around just to make sure because there was some more that was around here as well. And then we're going to try to replicate what just happened. Okay, I don't see any. Should have been some over there. I'm going to look over this way and then we'll come right back and see what we see. All right, so I'm back. Didn't see any more uranium. And I'm going to show you how we got the uranium and what to do when you need uranium. All right, now you have to get to the level that we're at. If you were observant, if you go back in the video, you'll see there was a big jammy right here, but it's gone. What we're about to build today, guys, we're going to build the launch platform. Now, I built the launch platform and I was testing it out. That's how I got the uranium. And that's how I discovered that power glitch. I'm going to call it the power glitch. Not sure exactly why, but I'm going to give you my guess once we build this launch platform. So I had to kind of rotate it this way. I actually feel like I should probably go a little further out due to what just happened. But we're going to leave it right here anyway, all right? Boom. We want to keep everything in this area. Also, while I mention that, this is pretty much my new base. This is pretty much the new main base. The other base is way over there. We actually can see it. We're very good draw distance. So you see that rectangle? That's where the base is. We still go back and forth, but that's a lot further than you would think. It takes, it takes a good minute, right? So, we're going to launch a rocket today, and we're going to look at this rocket. Yo, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. And what I found is you use the rocket, you can get uranium. Now, if you remember in the earlier episode, we found a uranium cave. The uranium cave is actually over near the other base uh, to the right or the east of that base. Well, from here, that would be actually slightly west from that base. There's one uranium cave that I found. Only one. The devs may put more. There's only one. So you have to be a little bit frugal with that uranium, all right? Or you're going to have to uh, deconstruct something if you use it all, all right? There's only so much. You can find it in wrecks and things of that nature, but you're going to have to start uh, creating, or, or I don't call it duplicating, but you're going to have to start creating more uh, uranium. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Now, when you need to launch a rocket, one thing that you need is a rocket, all right? Over here, if you go to the Crafter 2, we can uh, craft this rocket engine, all right? You need an iridium rod, you need super alloy, and you need two uranium. So you'll need two uranium to at least launch uh, to get more uranium. If you don't have those two, if you don't save those two, you're going to be short, all right? So remember, you will need two uranium. Other thing I want to make this episode is the jetpack, but we're going to focus on this one. And then if we have time, we'll do that one. Or we may do it in another episode, all right? 
So let's check this out. Now, I took the liberty of making a rocket engine, boom. So we won't need to craft that. We got one ready to go, but I had it, everything ready just in case, all right? Also, you see I did a little bit of, like I said, organizing. I think it's kind of funky the way I got these lockers going, but we'll come back in and we'll check that out on the later on as well. We're gonna stick to the script. Now, one thing I do need when launching the rockets, I need some cobalt. Um, I was gonna go in here to the mine and get it, but you know what? We're gonna grab it in here from my nice little organizational, uh, small organizational. <laughs> do I need iron too? I know cobalt that may be it, oh, I need super alloy. You'll need super alloy too. So let me grab a couple of those and we're going to get ready to launch, all right? Before I run out of super alloy. Now, the good thing with super alloy is you can't always create more of that uh, from all of your base resources. Uh, that includes aluminum. And I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing with the ore as well, all right? So we're going to jump into this right out the gate. Now, when we come up here, we look, and there are four types of rockets you can launch, all right? We have the GPS Tier 2, provides better geolocation to the mapping screen. I do want to see what that is as well. We may do this one as well, just making a microchip compass. I really want to see what that is, all right? Then you can do the magnetic field protection rocket. It attracts iridium. This one is the one for iridium, and it's a pressure multiplier of 1,000%. Now, I don't know if that, that pressure multiplier, or in the case of this one, which gives you a uranium asteroid, and it gives a global heat uh, generation bonus, a heat multiplier of 1,000%. I wonder if the multiplier draws more energy. That might be why that happened, but it was happening when I had enough energy, so I'm not sure. My theory is that when the asteroids come down, they drop and leave boulders. And the boulders somehow were obstructing the energy. I don't know. It didn't do it the first time, but it did it this time. Uh-oh. We got to get in. Asteroids are falling. So we'll finish this, and then we'll come back. All right. So we're waiting out the asteroids, guys. One thing I did learn is if you launch a rocket while it's raining, it will not work. I do love this system that they use asteroids to replenish the resources instead of them just respawning uh, randomly or magically. This took some really good thought. Shout out to the devs. They really put some thought into this, into their systems. So again, to replenish all of your base uh, resources, asteroids drop. And then to get even some of your rare resources, you can launch rockets for asteroids. Like that was very well thought out, very well thought out. We're right in this area where these asteroids like to drop. And like I said, these despawn, but right now they're all in the way. But I think this was the reason that my power stopped working. I don't know if they were sitting on top of of the solar panels or what, but yeah. I don't know if it's good to shoot off a rocket and make more asteroids drop while you still have these boulders here, but we gonna try it anyway. <laughs> we gonna do it anyway. The stuff does despawn, yeah, it just does it in its own time. I think it despawns quicker if you leave the game, but I think you'll lose the resources. So that's kind of jacked up. So let's go ahead and let's launch this uranium asteroid rocket. Yo, check that out, check that out. Look at the rocket, look at the rocket. Team Rocket. All right, let's press that button. Yo, it looked like it was about to fall off, right? We are launching our rocket. Yeah, that is dope. That is dope. We launching rockets, baby, rockets, baby, rockets, baby. Hey. <laughs> look at it go. Now you see the sky start to change. Yo, I wonder if the government be doing this though. Now you can land here and fall damage is okay, but if you fall all the way to the ground, you do get hurt. Uh, as a matter of fact, you kind of want to watch where the rockets or the asteroids land. Like one is on that side. We're going to kind of pay attention. Hopefully we won't get hit with one of these because you can't take damage or even perish if you uh, get hit. Okay, boom on the other side over there. Okay, right there. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Okay, that's on the other side of that mountain. Now, that's the only thing, too. When you launch a rocket, you want to kind of have it in the most open place area. Like, even by the other base would probably be good. Because the asteroids will land on the other side of mountains. And that may cause you to, like, leave them and not go get them. Or not be able to get to them. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Wow, look at that. You see it plop out. You see the uranium. Is that it? 
All right, I think that's it, guys. Let me drink some water real quick, like. We're a little hungry, but we'll eat in a moment. So let's go over here and let's check out these asteroids. Okay, that's iron. We'll come back for that. So yeah, these rocks do despawn and get out of the way. And I actually upgraded my mining uh, tool to tier three. Tier four is left. We'll do that in another episode. And the cool thing is you can see the glow. But sometimes you can't get to it, which stinks. Like we can't right now. We can't get to it. Okay. One went behind the mountain, I believe. One went behind that one over there, or it's on the very top of the mountain. Yeah, the payout for this one isn't going to be too good. <laughs> but uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Long as we have enough to make... I mean, as long as we have enough to get a couple more uraniums, we can do the iridium. And as long as we can make a rocket, we'll be good. Just getting the two replaces the two we use. So, yeah, we good money. Let's see if we can get up here, though. We having to do some scaling the mountain to get over here to the... All right, it's some up there, but we ain't gonna worry about that right now. We gonna get these ones that's out, out, out. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, we good, we good. We getting a good amount. Luckily, it looked like they flew way over here. Hey, and we got water, but we'll come back to that. The next episode, we gonna talk about the lakes, guys. We gonna talk about the Lando Lakes. Oh, you know what? I should be able to get up here. Oh. I'm going to leave that and come back and get it. Let's see if we can access this without going the long way. Uh, can we get up here? Yeah. Can we get up here? Look at you. Look at us. Look at us. I believe it was on this side, guys. Man, look at us. Look at us getting to the uranium and getting to the money. Uh-oh, glitch. Okay. Can we get over there? Can we get over there? It's glitching a bit, but we're going to try to work it out. Oh, we about to run out of oxygen. Okay, cool there. We about to run out of oxygen and food. All right, so we might not be able to get to these. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Boom. We working through the glitches, guys. We working through the glitches. You know, the games ain't perfect. You're going to have clipping and things of that nature. So we got a little bit of clipping. We in the air magically floating. So we saw a couple more that were clipping through. But I ain't going to worry about those. I see one way over here. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, look. Look. They all down here, too. We're going to get to these ones we can get to. We ain't going to worry about those too much. Ah, there's another one. Oh, we can't get to it. It's covered up by the boulders. Dog on it. And that can't happen. The boulders will cover up a lot of the uh, resources, which kind of stinks. So you got to wait on them to despawn. Boom. Okay. Once they despawn, we'll have access to them. And moving forward, I won't take y'all with me. I'll just go find all these myself. There we go. Oh, look at that. And a nice one. Let me eat this. Yeah, we need to come back and get this. Uh, I'll swap out these resources for these resources. Let me get these aluminiums. Uh, I'm going to eat that. So we can grab this while we're here. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we discovering little secret areas and whatnot. 
Yeah, through this little area, there's a lot of aluminum. If you're looking for aluminum and you're in this area and you don't want to have to go all the way to the aluminum fields, that's a great spot for aluminum. All right, so let's see how we're looking. Hey, it's a nice amount of uranium. Let's go ahead and put it in here. Look at that. We filling up. I've actually been converting some of these to uh, rods. And I kind of figured out what the recycler is good for. But again, we'll come back to that as well. And we'll test that out. Uh, there's the iridium. And I have a lot of iridium still at the other location. Let's drop these off. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, nice. We got the biodome too. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Bam. Now, I had this one right here, our stage. And look at that. We're 55% the lakes, guys. You don't have to get to 100% before this to come out. I realized that. I saw it with blue skies, but I wasn't sure. Once you get to 30, 40, when you're in that stage, it already starts to happen in real time, and you're experiencing it, all right? So we just unlocked Biodome 2, generates tree barks. Oxygen, 1450. Biodome 1 is only 135. This one's 1450 and 11 biomass. That's a huge leap. Now, I've been really working on my heat because we need to get this drill T4 unlocked because we're not really creating a lot of pressure. And to get to the ore extractor tier two, you need 364 pressure. We're only at three and it's barely moving. I added more of these tier three drills. They're not doing much. So it's gonna take a while. And the problem that that causes is the ore extractor, the highest level of resource the ore extractor extracts is iridium. If we go to the uranium cave, if we go to the osmium cave, they are not able to be extracted by tier two. So you're only limited to what you have. That means if I use up all this osmium, I'm short. Osmium is used to craft the ore extractor itself. So from what I see, you really only need it for the ore extractor. So that kind of helps. I could go clear out the caves and do more with the ore extractor. And the ore extractor brings out 15S whereas the drill two only does 17. Well, it does 17, the ores do 15. But again, I'm gonna run out of osmium if I'm not able to get to this, uh, to the tier three or the tier two ore extractor. So that's just something we gotta consider. Yeah, I've really, really set up shop over here. We'll go ahead and look at that. I already started the drill right here. I got the water collector. This should collect quicker since it's raining, right? Had to put some uh, power units here because I didn't have enough uranium to make another of the nuclear ones. Now that I have enough uranium, though, I should be good. I can make nuclear uh, reactors out the wazoo. That should give us plenty energy. I also built in here, once I found out that iridium can be mined, you can mine iridium, boom. You still get the other resources, but iridium is the main one. I put them right beside each other. They do lock. I tested it in different spots. Uh, it's no difference. So I just kept them right here. Let's get all our iridium and then the iron. Once you start using these, I mean, you're really good. You don't even have to go and manually mine resources, which automates a lot. The only thing you're not getting is aluminum. So you still always have to go back to that aluminum field. So I have one. We actually can see it. It's right by my uh, outpost right there. I'm going to put a second one there. That way we know we can always have aluminum running because you do run out of aluminum. I put this second uh, locker here and I'm probably going to put a third if it'll fit. In fact, let's see if it'll fit. Let's see if it'll fit. It fits. It fits. All right, bam. These are going to be for iron. And then I went around the corner with silicon and mag. And I probably put a few more right here. This doesn't have anything in it yet. I may bring the bio lab down here or something. Super alloy. I put fabric here. And then as we start crafting some of the newer elements, I'll bring it on around. Or if we start filling up with food, seeds, things of that nature, I will bring it on around. Let's see if I have enough for a ride. Yep. All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm probably gonna do another iridium right here, either a second iridium or uranium. Uh, not sure yet which. Go ahead and start putting that here. Cause yeah, you really start to uh, 
collect a lot of these resources as those ore extractors do they do their job they do their business boom i need to go back to my main base and get mushrooms that's the one thing i'm not growing i'm growing these but i need some mushrooms as well all right cool 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 so again the lake is coming along actually we're moving a lot faster now that i have uh done a few of those things like the heat multiplier because look at that four thousand wow now, I don't know if every rocket keeps the multiplying up or if it stops after the, the it only works for the meteor time limit and then the, the thousand percent boost stops or if it stays. I don't know. But right now I see that is at 4000 PK. So the next time I launch another rocket, we'll see if it stays up. Um, I do one for iridium and test that out and we'll see if the iridium of the pressure goes up to 1000. Again, they say that really helps increase and boost the terraformation, all right? All right, so we're going to do the jetpack, but what I'll do uh, in between EPS, I'll go ahead and make these rockets, and we'll prepare to do the jetpack in the next one. We'll also go look at the new lakes that are developing. I don't want to spoil it and show y'all now, so yeah, we will do that in the next one, all right? But we are going, growing. Yo, if you got any tips, any info, hit me in that comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out. And we'll be back with Planet Crafter. Charles Macro, Planet Crafter, thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.